This presentation explains why RSS Bus Simple Services are more useful than traditional web services for many types of web-based applications. These applications include data access services, enterprise mashups, and information access and publishing. You can also use Simple Services to extend your existing service-oriented architecture or to build situational applications that tackle the long tail of IT backlog. These are all those smaller applications that don't have enough users to justify the overhead of a full IT project. First, we'll look at the main features of RSS Bus, including connectors, simple services, and formatters. Then we'll compare simple services to two other data access technologies, including SQL and SOAP. Last, we'll demonstrate the power of simple services by looking at a customer use case that combines data from five different information sources. Let's start with connectors. Here is the connector page of the RSS Bus website. The RSS Bus connector library is very extensive. There are connectors for cloud computing, PayPal, credit card processing, access to all kinds of databases, document management, e-commerce, and email systems, and the list goes on and on. Let's look at this first connector. This one is the Amazon e-commerce connector called Amazon Ops. This connector has a lot of operations for working with Amazon services including product searches and shopping cart management. When we click on an operation, we can see that it takes a number of parameters that control the operation's behavior. It looks like the only required parameter for Amazon search is called keywords, so let's give that a try. I've got a copy of RSS Bus running on my laptop, and I've defined a simple service that uses this connector. Let's give it a keywords value of Harry Potter. The result is formatted as an RSS feed which is the default response format for RSS Bus. An RSS feed is basically a list of result records called items, where each item contains sets of name-value pairs called attributes. Let's look at how these connectors work. Imagine a connector that calls a customer database to search for all customers living in a given city. The connector gets a request that includes a city parameter and it automatically generates the specific kind of query that is required by the backend data source. The connector calls the data source and formats the result as the list of items. Every RSS bus connector returns its results as a simple list like this, no matter how complicated the backend data source might be. We call this process data flattening. Now you might be wondering why we've standardized on such a simple result format. The reason is that it makes all information sources behave the same way. All RSS bus operations are called with very similar looking URLs and they all return very similar looking lists of items. This consistent behavior hides the details and custom protocols and data formats required by the different backend sources. The connectors take care of all these details for you and you just work with the lists of items. The second reason for using lists is that the connector output is self-describing, where each item includes its own copy of the attribute names. Callers process the item by using these attribute names. So it's safe to add new attributes anytime without upsetting other callers of the service. They can still find the attributes they need by name. This is a big advantage over schema-based systems where you have to recompile or reprogram all of the service clients every time you want to add a new field to the response. The third reason for using lists of items is that they can be useful as input to those connectors that can write data. This makes it possible to pipe the output of one connector directly into the input of another. In this example, the first connector looks up all the customers in a given city, and the second adds sales information for each customer. You can also merge items from different information sources that have some attribute in common, similar to the way database joins work. So you can see how connectors and data flattening make it easy to call, extend, and combine data from different information sources. Now let's talk about using connectors to build simple services. A simple service is a connector wrapped in a service definition script written in RSB script. This file gives the connector a URL so it becomes callable from the web. A simple service looks like this. The connector contains the reusable data access code and the RSB script service definition provides details about the specific data source that you want to access in the service. This script typically includes the name and data source or table that you want to access and the particular fields that you want to read or write. It also might contain default input values and some filtering of the connector output before it is forwarded as the response. 
Service definitions are implemented as RSB script files. RSS bus server and desktop products contain a wizard that can generate these scripts for you. Simple services have one more feature that sets them apart from most other kinds of web services. Any simple service can accept a special parameter that controls the formatting of its output. The default format is RSS, but you can also request HTML, Atom, and JavaScript output, plus SOAP messages, and dynamic Excel spreadsheets, and more. You can also write template files that embed connector results inside your own custom output. These are often used to create HTML forms, wiki gadgets, or custom portlets. The goal behind all of these output options is to directly serve as many people as possible. This is very different from web service technologies that use fixed input and output formats that are only useful to programmers. Let's try a couple of output formats. Here's the URL that we used earlier for Amazon. We can get the results as an HTML table. Each row is a complete item. You can see that this service returns lots of attributes. Or we can ask for Excel output. This worksheet was automatically generated by the simple service. It has an input section and an output section. The cool thing is that you can change the input and the worksheet will call back to the service for new results. So let's summarize the advantages of simple services. The reusable connectors simplify information access. The flat format encourages extensions without breaking other apps and also make it easier to pipe and mesh results. And the flexible output format supports all kinds of users. We like to summarize these advantages in three easy to remember principles. Flatten first, encourage extensions, and connect the clients. At this point, I bet some of you are thinking, well, that's a very cute set of principles, but the real world just isn't that simple. Real data is complex, and you're going to need a more complicated solution than that to work with really complex data. Okay, true enough, real data is complex. Let's start with relational databases.